What's up, Scouters? So recently, Kim Gam Mo, one of the most well-known and long-lasting singers in Korea, has been sued by an anonymous woman. And because in the recent years, Kim Gam Mo has made a lot of appearances on famous TV shows like My Little Old Boy, a lot of international K-pop fans have gotten to know him, and thus, articles on him and his current situation can be found on a lot of international K-pop media sites. But for those of you who are not familiar with who this Kim Gam Mo guy is, just know that he's a very talented singer who loves to drink soju and wear Batman shirts. According to the woman who sued him, the woman used to work as a hostess at a bar. And one day, at the bar she used to work at, Kim Gam Mo came wearing a Batman shirt and drank soju all by himself while eight hostesses were keeping him company. But when he saw her, the supposed victim, the singer asked all eight hostesses to leave the room and started drinking with her one on one. As the two of them were drinking together, Kim Gam Mo eventually committed the crime that he was charged for. Now obviously I want to tell you guys what his charges were uh, explicitly, but with the new YouTube policies, it's really hard to say a lot of the words that I should be mentioning here. So now the woman filed a lawsuit through a lawyer named Kang Yong Seok, who was a former Korean congressman and now a lawyer who is more reputable as a right wing media personality. He's currently the host of a YouTube channel called Karo Seru Yongguso. And using his role as the host of this YouTube channel, he publicized this entire Kim Gam Mo situation via YouTube Live. Now before we move on, one thing we have to note here is that this entire situation happened back in 2007. And this is where a lot of people are biting into to claim that this supposed victim and the lawyer is lying. Because for 12 years, the victim remained silent. The lawsuit only happened after Kim Gam Mo announced his upcoming wedding. And it's not like Kim Gam Mo was gone anywhere. He was always a singer and he was always a very popular celebrity and he was always having concerts. So the victim had all the chances to file a lawsuit before. And no, in no way am I trying to tell you that this is probably all false because the victim filed her lawsuit very late. But rather, I'm telling you guys that a lot of people who think the lawsuit is a big show are using this as their evidence. And of course, there is this entire fierce online debate about whether Kim Gam Mo is actually a criminal or not. But I think this debate is completely useless. Rather, I think we should all just put our gears in neutral and wait for actual evidences to come out. Because no matter how many articles you read on this topic and how many videos you watch on YouTube, currently, lawyer Kang Yong Seok and the victim have all the evidences in their hands. Well, at least they claim that they have all the evidences ready. And with him publicizing his client's situation through a 551k YouTube channel, he probably knew that Kim Gam Mo was going to react in some way. Which Kim Gam Mo did. He filed a lawsuit for false accusations, claiming that he doesn't even know the supposed victim. But again, let me clarify. Currently, there are zero evidences available to the public. Kang Yong Seok himself in an interview said that he'll not be releasing any evidences to the public at the moment because he believes that this might give Kim Gam Mo time to come up with solutions to nullify them. Which I mean, I think is a very smart strategy because he already has the attention of the press but if he has the evidences to back up his claims as well and he wins the trial he's probably going to have a better reputation than if he loses the trial i mean the man probably does have something up his sleeve for sure because I mean, he was bold enough to file a lawsuit against the public figure for such heavy charges so all i'm saying is that when the time comes the evidences will speak for themselves then i think it's safe to at least have an argument about whether kim gamo is guilty or not but at this point people are making comments like oh i always thought that guy looked like a creepy criminal. And my friend, that's just a toxic comment. Just a few months back, the Korean media industry faced a huge Me Too movement. And during that movement, a lot of male celebrities were publicized or sued as criminals. And yes, some of them were actually very disgusting people who deserved to be punished and who deserved to lose the careers they have built up. But some people were charged with complete lies. But I'm not saying that this Me Too movement should stop. But we can't just witch hunt everybody with malicious comments every time somebody makes a claim when we all know so well that that these malicious comments are killing these celebrities, some of them who might be completely innocent. So my message today for all you intelligent scouters out there is let's cease fire for a bit and see how the lawsuit goes. So while we wait for the evidences and the results, if you found this interesting or I answer some of your questions, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more K-pop news and interesting information on Korea. Until then guys, see you next time.